What's up guys, it's Lee here, the rental guy from the rental shop. This is the rental shop, you know the rental shop. We vlog every week about the progress of my party rental business that we started, I don't know, roughly six years ago from the garage of my house and now we're here. We're in the vlog, let's get into it. It's been a week, starting on Monday. We had take backs from the previous week on Monday, we set up two 20 by 30s and a 20 by 20 tent. On Tuesday, we set up a 40 by 60 pole tent. On Wednesday, uh, I went and I took down that uh, those two 20 by 30s and that 20 by 20 tent. On Thursday, we set up a 20 by 40 in a backyard for a hundredth birthday. And on Friday, we went out of town and we set up two 20 by 40s and a 20 by 20. And then on Saturday, I took that down. Uh, we were very busy. There was multiple pickups through the week as well. It was a great week. We made about 30K this week. So on Monday, we split up. We had two stay back at the shop and then three of us, myself and two other workers, we went out about uh, two hours away and we set up these uh, 20 by 40 tents and a 20 by 20 tent. the truck in the 7x16 trailer we were wrong um, so we had to bring the minivan with the skid steer as well uh, so that we could bring everything Not very often we get the night photos. Well, the team grabbed one 15 foot wall instead of a 20 foot wall, so we had to drive back. I did four hours to today, but at least I get pictures at night, which doesn't happen very often. So, 40 by 60 tent, Tuesday. We're just heading back from the tent wall it's that I put on. So I wanted to show you a video of when we take pictures of tents, what we do. I mean, the photos are sometimes great and they're sometimes lackluster, but usually they can be better. So uh, this is what I do on my iPhone after I take a photo to jazz it up. So if you're taking photos for your tents, make sure and uh, edit them accordingly so that they look better. Why not? Photographers edit theirs. Anything that you see that's professional has definitely been color touched. What's up? It's Wednesday. What's up? It's Wednesday. I'm about two hours away. The tents that we put up on Monday, I'm taking them down. The guys and everyone's at the shop getting things ready. I'm going back there. They're going to unload the trailers. Uh, yeah, I took this one down. Currently just rolling up the last marquee. Pause, stopped by a gas station, saw a restroom trailer truck. Really thinking hard about restroom trailers. Maybe it's a thing for the future. Thinking hard. One more time. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> yeah. What is that? <laughs> hey, time. what is that? Good work. Okay, so the Pong is missing a locking pin right there. And it's missing one right here as well.
Well, we're at the hotel. We don't often get hotels, but this one calls for a 6 a.m. setup and it's out of town about two hours away, hour and a half away. So uh, this is the first time that I'm doing a hotel since uh, the bartending days. With the bartending gigs, uh, they used to run late at weird hours. We always used to do hotel stays, um, but this is the first time I'm doing it since I've been in the party rental business for a tent rental gig. So it feels, feels kind of good, you know? Go out for a nice meal with the staff, get a good sleep, wake up nice and early and get to work. Uh, rather than having to leave the shop at, you know, 3 a.m and then uh, drive out, set up a whole bunch of tents, then drive back all tired, you can kind of break it up into two days. And plus, you know, it feels kind of good. You bond with the staff just a little bit, having meals and, you know, you treat them good because you're making a lot of money on these, uh, you know, exact time, crazy setups, out of town, blah, blah, blah. I'll pretend you're happy. Getting into video. <laughs> Same joke all the time. done for the week what kind of stuff did I learn my gosh I learned all sorts of stuff um, you know if you pack up a tent dirty you should mark it with a red zip tie so that it's at the shop you know to clean it before you pack it up so that you don't have to clean it on site we ran into that problem at this past one and uh, yeah anyways everyone that's the week that's the vlog I hope you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do um, yeah we'll see you on the next one as always, you stay classy. Hey, we got one of our vehicles back. The white van uh, was about $2,000 worth of work to get the back diff uh, redone. There was a bearing slip. They had to redo the diff. So right now we got this one, this one, uh, this trailer, this van, this one, and that trailer over there. And we're still waiting on the box truck. That one's supposed to be about six grand. Yikes. But I love that box truck. <laughs>